everyone and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com. And today we're going to be discussing TXTM, PBTS, SIDU, CMRA, PLPL, RMRK, IPSI, HMBL, UATG, VGID, and GESI. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for informational and educational purposes only, and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, let's dive in here, folks. Uh, this first video of the week, uh, happy Jay Powell is out of the way. Uh, the Fed uh, tearing the Band-Aid off, rose, uh, raised interest rates 75 basis points, signaling, and uh, he also signaled another 75 basis points at the next meeting. Guys, let's just get it done with, raise these interest rates uh, and, and move on. Uh, it's been a cloud over the markets. Um, and that just uh, creates a risk off sentiment. We've seen what's happened in crypto. We're seeing what's happening in big caps. Uh, OTC has been in a bear market uh, for months now, but things are starting to wake up right now. And you know, you got to give it all the credit to TXTM, uh, up over 400% uh, just this week. Uh, finally uh, closed the merger. Uh, they've been working on this one for over a year with uh, um, uh, Republic of South Africa Medical Marijuana Dispensaries Acquisitions. Uh, great move here. Uh, congrats to all that have been in this play for a long time. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it's been flatlined. I mean, except for uh, the spike last summer uh, to 0 0.007, uh, it's just been range bound. Uh, and then finally, they closed the deal and the market took off. So, again, really happy for all the shareholders uh, that caught the TXTM move. Um, and what we're going to see now is that it's going to uh, get a lot of the other reverse merger plays excited. We're going to get some PR drops uh, and we're going to get a lot of sympathy plays. Uh, as I've been saying in the channel for a long time, we needed this multi-day runner to really get interest in the OTC again. You know, when people aren't making money, they just or they don't see any multi-day runners. You know, one and done doesn't work because a lot of people are not day trading. You know, they go to work, they have other jobs. They're looking to get in a play, you know, and make some money. Uh, and this one here had, you know, has been running for the past three days. Green, three big green candles. And, uh, you know, again, this is what we want to see. Um, where we see right now more opportunities actually is on the NASDAQ. We are seeing more multi-day runners on the NASDAQ. Uh, speaking of, of, of NASDAQ, we have an alert at the opening bell uh, for our subscribers. Uh, this is a NASDAQ penny stock. Uh, low flow, going to light up the NASDAQ at the opening bell. Uh, the only way to get the full report and the ticker is by going to signup.insiderfinancial.com, signing up with your email and your or, uh, your mobile number. Uh, mobile, you don't have to sign up, but it is the fastest way to get our alerts. Uh, simply enter your, your country code first, followed by your number. Works for all numbers worldwide. For US and Canada, be one plus area code and number. And we really like these NASDAQ low floats. Uh, just a lot of interest right now. Uh, uh, more so on the NASDAQ, as I've said on this channel over and over again. You got to trade all markets, guys. OTC, NASDAQ. Uh, don't get yourself in a corner and say you're an, you're only an OTC trader, you're only a NASDAQ or big board penny stock because one market, they're not always going to be hot at the same time. One will be dead, one will be hot, and uh, if you give yourself the flexibility, you'll make a lot more money. 
Um, PBTS up 195% this week. Uh, this is a China play with no news. As I said over the weekend uh, and last week, you're getting a lot of these China sympathy plays are working. Uh, you know, Beijing has signaled they're going to stop uh, the tech crackdown. Uh, China is, is more looking to ease in terms of interest rates and their loans. Uh, and, uh, you know, that is positive for China sentiment. Um, next up is SIDU. Uh, there's just 6.57 million shares in the float. Uh, again, these low float plays uh, are where you want to be. Uh, news out uh, with uh, NAS uh, with NASA. Uh, again, uh, what I like about this one opened at two dollars and sixty-eight. Brief dip down to two fifty-four before running all the way to four seventy-six, closing at four seven. 468. So again, he had plenty of time at the open. Ran 77% off the open. Again, this is the this is why it's so important to play the open. And this is when we send out all of our profiles because we know not all of you can trade pre-market. Uh, so again, you know we try to keep everything fair so that all subscribers get our alerts at the same time. Uh, next up, guys, is CMRA. Uh, this is a uh, busted SPAC. Uh, uh, broke down, uh, reached the bottom here at $1.11, put in a double bottom, and we got this explosive move. So we are finally seeing a lot of these big dip buys, uh, getting these explosive moves. So again, uh, we like seeing uh, a lot of this action. Uh, nice close today, up 40% on the day in CMRA. Uh, next up, guys, is uh, PLPL. Uh, this is a, uh, a 4.9 million dollar market cap. Uh, they're saying there's going to be another uh, uh, reverse merger play here. Uh, again, a lot of these sympathy plays are working off of uh, TXTM. Everyone's looking for the next TXTM on the OTC. Uh, one name that a lot of people are talking about is RMRK. This is double zero uh, with just a $2.7 million market cap. Uh, they've been putting out a lot of updates on, uh, on Twitter. Uh, this one was just uh, six hours ago. Uh, RMRK is working very hard to provide value to our shareholders. We believe in transparency. Additional information will be provided soon. Stay tuned. So we got Catalyst coming out. Uh, they've been talking about a lot of things here. No dilution, no reverse split planned. Uh, they're conducting due diligence on various acquisitions. Uh, we expect to complete the due diligence shortly and update shareholders. So again, you know, uh, catalyst coming. Uh, these reverse merger plays right now are where you want to be. Uh, again, TXTM is leading the market, uh, and that's what's going to create uh, other interests. So these are the types of plays you got to focus on right now. Uh, next up is IPSI. A lot of people talking about this one. Uh, just a $13 million market cap QB. A lot of comparison uh, being made to Humble. Uh, again, I'm not going to get into the bull bear battle here, between, you know, going on here. Uh, Humble down another 8% today uh, down 40 percent uh, in just the past four trading sessions uh, just been uh, uh, really uh, really uh, horrible here I, I hope it turns around soon for shareholders um, and uh, let's see what happens with HMBL but it's certainly uh, not looking good right now uh, next up is uh, UATG uh, big move today um, Company's been putting out a lot of updates on on Twitter. Uh, this one here, you know, you can go and check it out at UATGroup.com. Uh, they signed a deal for uh, to uh, this was back in March, uh, three months ago, to acquire Nathaniel Energy. Uh, so uh, this was just a they they announced the bid. Uh, they're finalizing the acquisition, so we should be getting updates on this one shortly. Um, again, this one here looks to have finally bottom. Big move today, up 110%. Uh, so again, we'll be watching this one to see what news comes out on UATG. 
Uh, VGID, a lot of people talking about this one as well. Uh, just a $1.5 million market cap. Um, updates on Twitter at uh, V Group uh, 2.0. Uh, the company said uh, nine hours ago, working on something huge. Hope to have information to share by the end of the week. Again, you know, this is what gets the market excited. Uh, you, you know, they're putting out the right tweets, uh, getting, uh, you know, investor interest. Uh, and, you know, you're seeing the, the, the market react accordingly. Up 50%. It's a trip zero. Again, you know, a lot of opportunities right now in these double zero, trip zero, uh, low float plays, uh, you know, that are getting ready to announce deals. So, again, there's a shortage of uh, 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 reverse merger plays right now, uh, you know, with Catalyst. So, uh, again, you want to focus on these plays that, uh, that I'm highlighting here. Lastly, guys, is GSI. Um, you know, they had, the stock promotion tag has been on here a few times. Uh, they've gotten it removed. Um, you know, it's got a $2.1 billion market cap. Guys, I'd be booking profits in this one uh, or at least using a trailing stop. Uh, just a lot of... You know, I mean, look at this last press release. Announces criminal charges officially filed against uh, Austrian building materials tycoon. Guys, when there's controversy, I run away. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor, but, uh, you know, again, just a lot of things going on here. And I don't know how they can justify this uh, $2.1 billion market cap. So definitely uh, one here I'd be looking to book profits on. And, uh, you know, just trade accordingly. With that being said, uh, like the action, happy the Fed meeting's out of the way. Now we can go back to focusing on low float runners, make some money. Uh, again, guys, I don't flood your inbox. Uh, if I don't see anything, I'm not going to uh, uh, alert you guys. Uh, again, it's a free service. So go and sign up at insiderfinancial.com or on any of the pop-up email uh, pop-up boxes. It's a completely free service. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever. With that being said, good luck to all subscribers at the on the low float NASDAQ at the opening bell, and I'll be coming live to you uh, after the bell with a new video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.